and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone and stepping into the kitchen, which if you've been following me for a while, you know that the kitchen is just not really my area of expertise. I tend to stay out of the kitchen as much as possible. But today I'm going to be making some Pinterest inspired holiday treats that would be really fun to either take to like a work potluck, a Christmas holiday party, or maybe if you're going to be doing a Friendsmas, kind of like a Friendsgiving, that would be really fun to take to. Or even if you would just like to bake these treats with your family and have your kids snack on them, maybe if you're gonna watch a Christmas movie, maybe the night before Christmas. I think that these treats that we're about to make would be like perfect for all of those situations. I think I found like three or four treats that I wanted to make on Pinterest. And I mean, you guys know how Pinterest goes. You see something on Pinterest, you try to recreate it, and it turns into a Pinterest fail. So I have no idea how good or bad these are about to turn out, but we're gonna do this together. So the first treat we're going to get started with is going to be a Grinch inspired kebab. And for that, you will need strawberries, grapes, marshmallows, and bananas. I'm gonna start off by just cutting my strawberries and then I'm going to pick apart some of the grapes and then dice my banana. Now, you can make as many of these as you want to. I, however, since I'm just kind of making a sampler, I will only be making five for myself and my husband to test out. It's gonna be pretty hard to mess these up. So once you've got everything diced up, you're just going to start sticking them onto your kebab. You can see now it kind of looks like a Santa hat. And then when you add the grape, it looks like this, a very cute Grinch inspired kebab. Moving on to our next treat. This one is going to be very similar to the Grinch inspired kebab. This one will be a Santa inspired kebab. And for this, you will need strawberries, bananas, the bigger marshmallows, the smaller marshmallows, um, something to be a red nose, and you could substitute for red M&Ms, and then also um, something black to represent the eyes. And I'll be using icing for that. I do want to recommend that you try to flatten the thicker marshmallow just because when I made my first Santa inspired kebab, I did not flatten that marshmallow and it didn't look as good as the one when I flattened it. So definitely do that if you can. Here is the final product and I really like how these turned out. The last and final treat that we are going to be making today is going to be a Christmas tree inspired charcuterie board. Now, this is completely customizable. I am a pretty picky eater, so I basically only included salami, pepperoni, um, cheese, and grapes in my board, but you could get super creative, and I would definitely think that the more layers that you include in this, the better it would look. Um, and like I said, you can switch it up. You can do olives, you can do lots of different meats, um, but because I'm pretty picky, I kept it pretty simple. I started out with my first layer, which is going to be towards the bottom of the board because it is going to be the largest part at the bottom of the Christmas tree, and then I work my way up. So for that first layer down at the bottom, I just folded the salami in half. The next layer, I diced out some cheese. The following layer is going to be grapes, and as you move further up your board, each layer is going to get thinner and thinner, and then I'm adding some pepperoni, and then I go back to cheese, and you just kind of switch it up just like that. To add in a little bit of texture and just give it a little bit of extra pizzazz, I am adding in some rosemary in between like each layer to give it a little bit more of a fuller look. And the last step is going to be doing the trunk of the tree. I think I used about five or six pretzels and it turned out really great. All right, 
you guys thank you so much for watching today's video let me know down in the comments below if you plan on making any of these yummy treats it was so super cute and super festive to watch it come together I would definitely consider this to be a Pinterest win don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it I will catch you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas video bye